So a lot of people have been asking me how I record my guitar and do my drums and bass, so in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how I do it. So the digital audio workstation I'm using is Reaper, and it lets me record basically everything I need. I usually have a lot of tracks, like a few distorted guitar tracks, left, right, center, maybe some with reverb, and then I have a few clean reverb tracks, just for like soundscape -y textures, I guess, and also vocal melody I sometimes do with that. For bass, what I do is record my guitar without any effects, and then after I record it, I just lower it down an octave. So before I lower it an octave, this is what it sounds like by itself. And then lowered an octave. And you can't even tell that it's not a bass guitar once you hear it in the full mix, like, it just makes everything sound a lot more full. Yep, for drums I'm using Superior Drummer 2.0 and also the Metal Foundry sound pack for it. It was like $600, but it is definitely worth the money. I'd recommend it for anyone. Here's what drums sound like on their own. Like that or... what it looks like when I'm programming the drums in. You can see all the cymbal and bass and snare hits. That's all the toms and stuff. For guitars, what I do is I plug my guitar straight into this cable and it goes into a Behringer guitar link. I got this for like $40 off of Amazon then plugs into my computer and this is what it sounds like before I use my distorted tones. And then once I add the distortion I'm using to get the distorted tones is Bias by Positive Grid. And I got this online for like $200. It's well worth the money though. The tones sound amazing. And I just used the Haunted S'mores preset off of the Tone Cloud, which is a tone designed by Mark Holcomb from Periphery. But I definitely recommend Bias for anybody who wants to record guitar. So I figured I'd let you guys hear what my tone sounds like just going straight into my computer and then coming out of my speakers without being recorded. And this is what I actually play on all the time. I don't use my amp anymore just because this tone sounds so good. Yep. So, anybody is ever planning on recording guitar, just get biased by Positive Grid and you'll never have to worry about having a good tone. Uh, I do do some EQ stuff, but barely any. And I, I'll show you how I do that real quick right now. After the EQing and the full mix, this is what the guitars will sound like. <laughs> This is by itself, and then this is what I do with the EQ. Without it, this is what it sounds like. It just sounds a lot muddier. I just raised the lows a little bit and the high stuff. 
not really an expert on audio production, but this is what makes it sound good for me. I'm sure I'll learn as I keep going on. A reverb and clean tones. What I do is I'll plug in my guitar into a chord and then put my reverb pedal here, then just record straight and not do anything else to the tone and it'll come out sounding like this. It's really nice. And I love that it gives a contrast to the kind of distorted metal tone. I also use the clean reverb sound to get like a synth effect, such as the beginning of Go to Hell for Heaven's Sake. This is what I'm doing with it. And it sounds really nice once you add in all the other instruments. For vocal melodies, if it's kind of like a yell, I guess, I'll add on low gain setting and use the reverb pedal along with it. Like, here's the chorus for Go to Hell for Heaven's Sake. I think it sounds really cool in it.